Stanford University. Alex Hart, thank you. Welcome, everyone. My name is Steve Boxer. I'm currently the chair of uh, the chemistry department. So this has been easily the craziest time any of us have ever had to deal with. Irrespective of your uh, specialized interests, you are a part of the science that produced the vaccine and the drugs that treat COVID. This was a huge victory for science. And so you're now part of this larger fabric. So I'm gonna hand the proceedings to Professor Chris Chidsey and he'll present the student awards. Now I should just say very quickly, this is a bittersweet moment and he'll be retiring this year and becoming a Marius professor. This is a happy occasion. We start with the awards. Our first award, it's the American Chemical Society Outstanding Organic Chemistry Award, and it goes to Calvin Ryan Hansen. <laughs> the Merck Index Award to Outstanding Students in Chemistry, Samuel B. Horsham, J. Minsu Liu, Sarah Frigi, and Helena Miranda Roberts Mahar, Niharika Bandlapali. William David Chapp and Calvin Ryan Hansen for an outstanding undergraduate student who has been involved in significant research in chemistry, the SS and IMF Marsden Memorial Prize in Chemistry. So Young Lee, Matthew Harry Hall, India Wingate Cox. Our final award is to graduate students. It's the Centennial Teaching Assistant Award. Michael Chen, Pablo Elvira, Robert Gibson, and Yuran Shi. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our alumna speaker for today, Dr. Sandra Sachs. Thank you, Chris. I'm old enough I need these, so let me take a moment to put them on. Uh, I'm so glad to be here today. I was lucky enough to earn a job offer from SFPD, and this landed me, quite fortuitously, in a laboratory steeped in a tradition of the generalist. Among other analyses, I consider cases I have worked individually, each with an interesting analytical challenge, Pasteur, best known for food chemistry contributions like pasteurization, he famously stated that in experimental science, chance favors only the prepared mind. He noted that experimental method may never be able to solve completely the riddle of the universe, but is enchanting nonetheless. Isaac Newton's story is probably familiar. Legend has it he observed the apple fall on his home farm, and by 1666, the core idea of gravity took hold in manuscript form, but was put aside for 20 years due to a calculation error. Upon its publication in 1687, this instant masterpiece set Newton's reputation as a scientific tour de force. Eventually, in 1696, Newton came to London to take up the post of Warden of the Royal Mint. The position required him to protect the king's currency in practice, that made him a criminal investigator, an interrogator, and a prosecutor rolled into one. To leave you with a new impression or a new appreciation for Newton, as a kick-butt forensic scientist who became a justice of the peace, rounded up counterfeiting suspects, identified forged metal templates, and prosecuted cases worthy of a CSI episode 17th century style. Back to you as graduates. Trust your instincts, have a purpose, and know your history. 
It is the prescience of past scientists to allow us to convict the guilty or exonerate the innocent and bring closure to victims and their families. Again, to you graduates, you are each an amazing, trained scientific gift to the world. And no doubt, chance will favor your prepared minds and enjoy the moments that make it some positive. Best of luck to you.